Hello, in this video we are going to cover sprite sheets. Basically sprite sheets allow you to group items together and save performance because instead of having multiple different image files you just have the one and they're all bundled together. You basically get two images, a .plist which is an XML file and a .png or a .jpeg file. Just bear in mind if you use .jpeg you can't have transparency. Basically the PNG or JPEG file has all the images and assets that you put in your sprite sheet and then the .plist file has all the coordinates and the sizes of all those images so your code can get it so you don't have to say oh it starts at 5 pixels in the x-axis finishes at 20 pixels in the x-axis so forth so forth that's what the plist file does for you so if we were to right click new file go to sprite sheet you can't set the size because that is dependent on what it what are its contents and the properties that you set. So I'm just going to call it Sprite Sheet. Click New. And I've got some assets right here. I'm going to drag all of these on and watch what happens. If they basically align up, and now there's a few properties. It tells me the size. So 128 pixels wide, 512 pixels tall. We can allow any size. By doing this, we don't just allow multiples of two. So this allows us to save space as well. There are reasons why you would want to do that if you're a bit more advanced. You can allow clipping as well. And then you can have a maximum size. So if I did, I don't know, 256, that was my maximum size. Even though it fits in 256 by 256, the items have rearranged. If I were to do 256 by 128, as you can see, some of the items are no longer in there. So you can set a maximum size. I'm just going to put that as 512 by, by 512. So that's a good looking image. Set the export type, so PNG, like I said, PNG for transparency, JPEG if you don't really care about that. And at the moment, they're literally on top of each other. If you want to put an image gap, I don't know, 40 pixels, it puts a 40 pixel gap on each of the sides. So let's put this back to zero, allow rotation. And if we deselect that, as you can see, some of the items rotate. And this just automatically rotates them so they're in the best position as possible. Once you're all done with all of this, because I'm, I'm pretty happy with this, do export image merging I'm going to save it to the desktop now that's all done if I just open up the folder go to my desktop so we got this image right here which has all of the other images but we only actually have one single file which is really cool actually you know what I'm gonna go into Cocoa Studio open containing folder so basically, instead of having all these different images separately, we have just the one. And have a look at this. This is 9.71 kilobytes. I'm just going to call it 9. We have 8, so that's 17. Let's just say 6, 23, 29, 35, and 41 kilobytes in total space. If we go to desktop, look, it's 25.8 kilobytes that is that's crazy that is so we've saved a shit ton of space so oh, we saved almost 40 percent of storage space and this would compound when you have loads of images loads of sprite sheets so your finger gets smaller your application your application gets more efficient so sprite sheets are a great thing and like i mentioned before the dot p list file just basically contains all the different codes and positioning of what each one of these sprites is. So in code, let's say I wanted the golden egg, I wouldn't have to specify where it starts. You just get, let's say, golden egg from here, and you would get just that particular part of the PNG. So if you have any questions, feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash question.php. We haven't covered how to actually access your sprite sheet via code. That is simply because Coca Studio doesn't support code. But don't worry, there will be a link in the description to our Cocos API guide which shows you how to use it in your project using code for Coca Studio X and Coca Studio JS. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.